There will be responsibility for those who funded the lab. Did you see this heated debate between Rand Paul and Anthony Fauci? I totally resent the lie that you are now propagating. Paul accused Fauci and the U.S. government of funding experiments in China that could have started a pandemic. Dr. Fauci, knowing that it is a crime to lie to Congress. Rand noted that Chinese researchers did thank the U.S. government for money they used to manipulate coronaviruses. Viruses that in nature only infect animals were manipulated in the Wuhan lab to gain the function of infecting humans. Such gain-of-function research tries to learn more about diseases by making them more deadly or contagious. Take an animal virus and you increase its transmissibility to humans, right. you're saying that's not gain-of-function? Yeah, that is correct. And, and Senator Paul, you do not know what you are talking about. Does Fauci respond and explain to us in a reasonable fashion why he thinks it's not gain-of-function? No, he calls me a liar. Do you think he made progress? These interactions have completely shifted opinion. Today, most Americans believe that COVID leaked from a lab. I changed my mind as well on it. I didn't realize that the lead scientist that was trying to convince all of this, that it couldn't have come from the lab, that he was the funder of the lab. Now, to be clear, this U.S.-funded research did not create COVID. Scientists can tell by the molecular structure. But should they have been doing those experiments at all? They do seem risky. Dr. Fauci in 2012 said that even if a pandemic would occur, that originated in a lab. He said that scientific research would be worth it. It sounds like incredibly bad judgment. Don't listen to those maniacs. Everybody loves you, all right? The media is eager to defend Fauci. No one's supposed to question him. But they're eager to mock Paul. Did he get schooled? Did Senator Paul get schooled by Anthony Fauci? I've actually lost the thread on Rand Paul's conspiracy theories, but it it seemed to go back to Uh, some U.S. funding for the lab. At that time, social media companies actually banned even suggesting that the virus might have come from a lab. Never before has there been a couple companies that could just shut conversation off. Just feels wrong. There's a real danger to scientific or journalistic inquiry. These monolithic social media companies are determining what the truth is. For example, where did the virus start? We were told... Health officials believe COVID-19 originated in animals sold in a so-called wet market in China. But there was no real evidence of that. The evidence suggested a lab leak. American diplomats had warned of risky experiments there. And then three Wuhan lab researchers got COVID symptoms before the disease was known elsewhere. When that became public, officials finally admitted. It could have been a lab leak. Suddenly, Facebook unbanned the theory. It turned out Facebook had relied on a fact check by this group, which relied on information from the very person who directed government funding to the Wuhan lab. It is amazing that one day we're banned from even talking about it, and then suddenly that flips. You have even mainstream media now acknowledging it may well likely have come from the lab. Facebook should never have banned it. The advancement of knowledge requires skepticism. It requires debate on both sides of it. But because of social media censorship, we only get one side on certain topics. I'll continue to use them as long as I think I get benefit, but I'll continue to also tell everybody how much they suck and how much they censor. Including censoring him. Last week, YouTube suspended his whole channel because he'd quoted studies that concluded cloth masks were ineffective. The video platform saying it will ban any content that contradicts the World Health Organization. Other research suggests the masks do offer some protection. Paul shouldn't have made such strong statements based on imperfect studies. But YouTube is wrong to just cut him off. They will ultimately destroy their platform. Somebody is out there. Maybe it's somebody watching this broadcast is going to make a billion dollars when they develop the new Facebook. Senator Paul will still use Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube, but he now prefers new sites like Liberty Tree. But we lose something by not talking to the other side. Well, yes and no. You ever read your Twitter feed, John? I mean, most of the people on there are, are complete idiots, imbeciles, and people that are just going crazy, calling you names. I have mine's, 100 Mine's people. not as crazy as yours and others for some reason. Of the first 100 tweets, 50 of them will wish more violence on me and say and wish that, I, uh, that I'm attacked again. You know, wish that I had died during the first assault. I'm sick of it. I'm not going to take it anymore. And I'm putting my stuff on rumble.com. I'm on rumble too. 
and Odyssey and JohnStossel.com. But I'll stay on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. Because even though I hate their censorship, I think more debate is best. Hope you like this video. Of course, we may get censored, so to keep getting our videos, I hope you'll go to johnstossel.com and sign up for our email list. Then they can't cut us off.